Hey everyone, it's me with ADHD. So in case you guys didn't know, this month is ADHD Awareness Month. And like everything in my life, I am totally late with this video. So in honor of this awesome month, raising awareness for those out there who are struggling with, coming to terms with, or just living everyday life with ADHD, I wanna do my part to support our community too. So in honor of this month, here is a few facts that you might not know about ADHD. Before we get started, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, click the bell icon too, stay up to date with all of my new content. Okay, so firstly, it's real. Despite the ignorance of some people telling you things like, you just aren't trying hard enough, it's just an excuse, or my personal favorite, we're all a little bit ADHD every now and again. No, ADHD is a genuine disorder, usually defined by patterns and symptoms such as inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. And over 17 million people in America alone suffer from it. So yes, it's a real thing. Next, to be diagnosed, you need to show at least six symptoms before the age of 12. Now, it's understandable if you can't remember that far back. Most of us can't even remember the first half of our day, let alone what you did when you were 12. But if you feel like you've had symptoms for a long time, and probably as long as you can remember and it bothers you, then it's important to go and see someone. It's better to know, right? Next, ADHD normally goes hand in hand with other mental health conditions. Statistics show around 30% of children and around 40% of adults have both ADHD and some other kind of anxiety. Experts also claim that around 70% of people with ADHD are treated for depression at some point in their lives. 21% of children and around 8% of adults have OCD with ADHD and around 1 in 10 people with ADHD like myself have Tourette's with ADHD. With all these different conditions going hand in hand, especially with things like depression, that's why it's really important to stay on top of it and go to see someone if you're not feeling right. ADHD treatment is not just medication. While most symptoms can be vastly improved by medications such as Adderall and Ritalin, it's equally as important to go and see a counselor or a therapist. Doing this is gonna help you manage the symptoms, deal with change from the medication that you start taking, and you can even talk through any emotions that you might have. It's hard to have something like ADHD and it's great to talk to someone about it. Treatment really helps. My therapist explained to me like this, Untreated ADHD is like batting with one hand tied behind your back. The treatment is like getting that arm back. It's amazing and it feels right, but it just takes time to adjust. So lastly, and this is the most important one, ADHD does not hold you back. There are plenty of people in the world that have ADHD and are incredibly successful and happy. Wealthy people like Richard Branson, gifted people like Albert Einstein, creatives like Van Gogh, athletes like Michael Phelps, actors and actresses like Will Smith and Emma Watson, and the list goes on. You aren't limited and don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. So for anybody who's interested in learning more about ADHD, I strongly advise checking out the many, many resources online. Some of my favorites are Chad, ADD.org, Attitude, there are, there's so many more. Just go and check them out. Help spread awareness, support mental health and ADHD. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't already, please subscribe. Help me build a community of support for people with ADHD. Also, like the video if you did, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.